Mabuhay! And you're watching Shinyu's channel, Yesiba Vlog! <laughs> so today is dance class with Hachan and Jisoo. Straight from bed. So ayan sila nag... Ano sila warm up. Kanina nasa 200 plus lang. Ngayon nasa 500 na. Nakabala Okay. So, ayan. Warm up. We're gonna be attending one of our tour concerts. Like, <laughs> manifesting! Oh, wow. oh, manifesting! Oh, I see. Okay. Manifesting. I'm gonna do that on PDF too. But we see a lot of O's too. So yes, we are leaving for lunch tomorrow. 지금 한국은 열한 시 십분 십이 분쯤 됐는데요. Currently, right now it's eleven ten, around eleven twelve, to be exact here in Korea. Twelve na sa. 여러분 다 각자 지금 현재 몇 시인가요? So what time is it over there for you guys in your country? Can you guys please write in the chat? Four a.m. Nine a.m. Wow, I'm out here. Nine a.m. Three o'clock. Four a.m. Why four a.m. Why eight a.m. Just say. 7 p.m. in New York. Wow, 4 a.m. in New York. I'm working right now. I'm going to read this letter to you. Kings Academy 
Chinese professor and instructor, uh, choreographer Pa Da, who's actually a choreographer for some of our stages as well. <목소리> 자, 이제 본격적으로 여러분이 사전에 주셨던 질문들에 대해 답해보는 Q&A 시간을 가져볼까요? All right, now we're going to go into the Q&A session of our class today, and we're going to be answering some of the questions that were already sent in before the class. 자, 우선 킨즈 아카데미 수강생 분들이 주신 질문인데요. 네. We're going to be asking questions that Kids Academy students, trainees have uh, sent in their questions with. 두 분은 어린 나이 때부터 트레이닝을 시작하셨는데 육체적으로, 멘탈적으로 어떻게 견디셨나요? 힘든 연습을 하던 연습생 시절 본인들에게 조언을 준다면 어떤 조언을 주고 싶으세요? You guys started training at a young age. How did you prepare yourself mentally and physically? And what advice would you give yourself to endure the hard days? 어떻게 어떻게 버텼어요? How did how did you kind of like endure it? 어 사실 장난 아니라 저는 어 내가 만약에 여기서 데뷔를 하고 나를 좋아줄 팬분들을 생각하면서 와. 네. 멤버들 때 버텼어요. 음... No jokes aside, you know, I feel like I just kind of kept that mentality of like, you know, you know, let's I'm gonna debut and I want to debut for my fans. 저 같은 경우에는 저희가 이제 SM 루키즈라는 걸 하면서 되게 연습생인데도 불구하고 많은 팬분들 앞에서 공연을 했었던 적도 맞아요. 있고요. You know, for me, you know, while I was a trainee, I was part of this thing called SM Rookies, which gave me a really good opportunity for me to be on stage and so forth, even before my actual debut. 막 영상도 찍고 방송도 나가는 I was able to like, you know, 많았죠. go on stage, perform on stage, broadcast, 네. as well as even like, you know, film. 저는 오히려 좀 그런 걸 하는 게 너무 재밌어서 버틸 수 있었던 것 같아요. I think like you know doing all of that was really fun for me and that's what kind of helped me go through it. 전 사실 연습을 그렇게 막 엄청 열심히 한 타입은 아니었어요. To be honest with you, I'm not like a person who actually practices like a lot. 근데 이제 주변에 이제 많은 이제 저희 트레이닝 직원 누나들이 이끌어 주셨고요. 아주 however, 예쁜 말씀으로 이제 이끌어 주셨고. However, like you know, all of our training, uh, trainer and mentors and so forth, they were all next to us, next to me, you know, really being able to push me through it. 무엇보다 이제 같이 있었던 그 멤버들, 막 SM 루키즈 뭐, 뭐 1, 2, 7 형들이나 우리 지금 드림 멤버들이나 같이 있으면서 저는 그냥 그 뭔가 일을 하려고 막 모인 그런 느낌보다는 음. 진짜 다 같이 그냥 춤추면서 맞아요. 막 노래하고 막 가끔씩 막 프리스타일도 막 하고 맞아. 막 레프리스타일도 막 저희도 했었거든요. You know, I feel like just I think the biggest thing that really helped me was being able to be part of this whole group. You know, being able to practice with you know like one to seven people or like one to seven members, the dream members, and so forth. And it was it didn't feel like we were having a hard time, but rather just coming together and having fun and just dancing for fun and you know and enjoying that. 네, 그런 추억들이 지금은 뭐 추억이라고 얘기할 수 있지만 그런 시간들이 지금의 제 저를 만들어 주는 것 같아요. You know, now I can say their memories, um, their you know really beautiful memories. You know, but that's but these but these events and these things that I went through as a as a trainee really helped me become who I am today. 자, 세 번째 아, 두 번째 질문입니다. 네. 어려운 안무를 제한된 시간 안에 외우고 숙지하는 팁이 있나요? Uh, how are you, we're going to go on to the second question. How are you able to memorize hard choreographies in a very limited time during your training days? 저는 확실히 있어요. Oh, I have 100%. 100%. 일단 뭐 일단 저 우리 둘 자체가 굉장히 안무를 빨리 외우는 멤버이기도 한데요. First off, I, I guess uh, both of us are the one of the members who do kind of memorize the uh, choreographies fastest. 저는 머릿속으로 그 안무를 계속 돌려요. You know, what I do is I keep on imagining and I keep on, you know, uh, creating and drawing that choreography in my head. 그걸 이제 저희는 이미지 트레이닝이라고 얘기를 what 하는데 What we call that is image training? 머릿속으로 무대를 딱 그리고 저희를 딱 그린 다음에 거기서 안무를 계속하는 거예요. 뭐 예를 들면 이 안무면은 몸으로 하지 않고 막 이동하거나 뭐 샤워하거나 막뭐 뭐 하고 뭐 하고 뭐할때 계속 머릿속으로 이거를 하고 있는 거예요. 그러다 so, 보면은 막상 해야 될때 생각보다 많이 외워져 있더라고요. So for example in like my head even when I even when I'm showering or when I'm doing other things what I would do is I would just kind of really imagine myself um, on stage doing the choreography itself and really being able to um, you know being able to imagine it and like you know moving around where it would look good and whatnot, and then when I get to that point and do it on stage, it's a lot easier for me. Jisung, what about you, Jisung? 
사실 저는 그냥 안무를 많이 따거나 배우다 보면 은 저절로 속도가 외우는 속도가 올라가는 것 같은데. I think for me, it's I've learned a lot. I feel like learning a lot, like very different choreographies, a bunch of very different choreographies would def, kind of helped me kind of memorize the choreographies faster. 솔직히 저만의 팁은 사실 그냥 집중하자 하나밖에 없겠네요. 그냥, I think 네. for me the biggest tips might be just like you know focus 집중. at that moment. 사실 저희는 실제로. 그렇게 많은 시간을 두고 작품을 준비하는 거는 지금 사실 흔한진 않아요. 맞아요. To be honest with you, right now it's very it's not normal for us to be uh, preparing for comebacks or preparing for things at a long period of time, but rather it's very short period of time. 막 뮤비를 진짜 말도 안 되게 막한 3, 4일 만에 안무를 배워서 찍은 yes. 적도 like 있고. Like we've had to film music videos like after learning choreography after three to four days, you know. 그럴 때뭐 지금이야 저희는 저희들끼리의 팀워크도 어느 정도 맞춰져 있는 상태고 이제 노하우가 많이 생긴 편인데 I think for us like because we have a lot of teamwork because we work with each other so so much that you know the work like our way of working together is just a lot easier and faster 동작 하나하나를 배, 외운다기보다는 그 전체적인 리듬이랑 흐름을 캐치하는 게 안무를 외울 때 훨씬 빠르게 할수 있어요. I think it's really helpful if you're able to understand and really know the whole rhythm and flow of the whole choreography and song itself, so that it's able for you, so that you're able to kind of get it faster with the choreography. 자 다음 질문 가보도록 하겠습니다. 읽어주세요. 네, 지금의 아티스트가 되기까지 어떤 것들에서 영감이나 동기부여를 받으셨나요? 그리고 현재도 동기부여를 잃지 않기 위해 어떻게 노력하시는지 궁금합니다. Alright, the third question. Was there something that inspired you to become who you are now? And what do you look at to remind yourself that it's still worth it? 이건 진짜 확실히 어려운 질문인데요. This is actually a really difficult question, I think. 저는 사실 딱 우리가 얘기하는 롤 모델이라는 게 있잖아요. You know, like we mentioned, role models. 저는 딱 모델이 있었어요, 저한테. I did have like a model. 마이클 잭슨이라는 큰 모델을 하나 정해요. You know, I have this like model figure, this Michael Jackson that I always keep in my nerve. 이 사람이 갖고 있는 능력이 있잖아요. You know, this person has their, you know. 노래, 춤, 뭐 작곡, 작사, 뭐 프로듀싱이며. 안무를 짜는 거며 이런 것들을 되게 배우고 싶었어요. You know, Michael Jackson himself is very talented. You know that he's able to produce, create, um, choreography, sing, and, and do all of these things. And to be able to learn from that person or for that, learn to become like that is a really big honor. 그리고 그 사람이 할수 있는 그뭐 보컬이면 보컬 능력 치며 뭐춤 능력 치며 그 수준까지 제가 가고 싶다라는 생각을 하고 쭉 오다 보니까. 되게 그 동기부여를 잃지 않고 계속 쭉쭉 나아갈 수 있게 되더라고요. I think because I wanted to have that, you know, that goal of I want to become as like high as them, you know, like high, like seeing as much as I can, like Michael Jackson dance, like um, as level as him and so forth. And that's what kind of helped me endure, and that's what kind of helped me really push myself. Jisung, what about you, Jisung? 어 사실 저한테는 저는 어, 한 사람한테서 영감이나 동기부를 얻지 않고요. To be honest with you, I don't really, I didn't really get inspired just from one person. 이제 여러 훌륭한 사람의 이제 장점들을 이제 하나씩 하나씩 빼와가지고 영감을 얻고 그 다음에 그런 so, 사람들을 보면서 동기부를 얻고 하는데. So for me, it's like I feel like I got a lot of, um, you know, I looked at a whole bunch of people who. Are really talented and so forth. And I, what I would do is, I would, you know, get their advantages, pick up all of their advantages, just kind of really take that in and soak that in. 어떻게 보면 동기부여를 잃지 않기 위해서는 뭔가 큰 목표를 정해두는 게 좋잖아요. 맞아요. You, know, I feel like to be able to not lose that inspiration and for you to not lack, you know, kind of go down. I think it's really good to have like that goal or something to look at. 그래서 저처럼 뭔가 그런 많은 훌륭한 사람들의 장점을 다 이제 모아서 완벽한 사람이 되는 건데 제 목표는 여러분들도 뭔가 그런 하나의 큰 목표를 만드시면은 더 동기부를 잃지 않은 데 도움이 될것 같아요. I think just like me, where I kind of created this person with all these different advantages that all other people had, um, 
creating that you know goal and creating that level helped really helped me go through and be help me inspire and keep me moving forward so i feel like you guys should definitely do the same thing and might maybe have someone that you might want to look up to or have other people that you wanted to look up to and kind of mold them into a person skirt 네 번째 질문 가겠습니다. 수많은 연습과 공연들로 많이 피곤하실 것 같은데 그 많은 스케줄들을 어떻게 소화하시나요? Alright, fourth question. How do you manage to practice, perform so much, and still be able to manage your schedules even if your body is tired? 저도 궁금해요. I'm actually curious about this too. 어 일단 너무 좋은 거죠 이 일이 사실. First off, I mean this job, this you know life career is it's a really good thing. Like it's really fun. It's something that we I love. 체력적으로 너무 이제 당연히 저희도 사람이니까 피곤하고 힘들 때가 있는데. You know we're we're a person like we're a human being. So obviously there are times when we are very tired. You know. 그냥 너무 하고 싶고 아까도 얘기했듯이 동기부여를. 계속 하는 게 저한테 계속 오니까 멈추고 싶지가 않은 거예요. You know, I think my motivation really comes from me being able to keep on doing what I really love to do, which is this. 그리고 또 중간 중간에 이제 당연히 잘 먹어야 되고요. And you know, in between, you know, you gotta eat well. 잘수 있을 때꼭 자야 되고요. You know, sleep well when you can sleep. 그리고 옆에 있는 멤버들이 사실 있다 보니까. And I think that because I have the members next to me. 그 이동하는 순간들이나 대기하고 이럴 때가 되게 재밌어요. 심심하지 않고. You know, I feel like you know when we're on the move or like when we're like you know resting or maybe even like having a short break, you know, it's fun because I'm always with them. 그러니까 매일 매일을 사실 놀러 다닌다라는 마음으로 일을 할수 있게 되는 거. I think it makes me feel as though like every single day I'm just going on a trip with all of my members, and so it's really fun. 어때요? 어 일단 너무 고맙네요. 일단 <웃음> 어, 어 스케줄이 많을 때는 되게 뭔가 사람도 되게 조금 날카로워지고 그쵸. 조금 아무래도 약간 웃음이 좀덜 나오게 되는 그런 순간이 분명히. 자주 인, 있긴 한데. You know when someone's tired, obviously you know, there's gonna be moments where they're kind of you know a little bit sensitive and you know our our facial expressions aren't like the best maybe at times. 뭔가 항상 그럴 때면은 저는 제 인생의 마지막을 생각해. So for me, what I think is like think about the last moment of my life. 또막 지금까지 수많은 사람들이 어떤 기록들 적혀 있잖아요. 뭔가 이런. You know, there's so many people who have like their own records of themselves and so forth. 뭔가 그 사람들을 보면서 아 나는 절대 마지막 순간에 아 그때 좀더 뭔가 해볼 걸 이러면서 뭔가 후회는 안 했으면 좋을 것 같아요. So you know, I really want to live life and to the point where I don't regret anything. So you know, thinking back, like you know, if this is the last moment, let's give it all. I don't want to regret. 사실 그 많은 스케줄들은 그냥 뭐. 팬 여러분들 보면서 조금 이제 무드 위 무대 위에서 힘 얻고 하면서 그냥 힘들지만 그냥 재밌으니까. So I think I get a lot of energy after seeing you guys. Like when I when when I'm on stage, I get to see all the fans. Like it really does bring a lot of power and energy for me. And you know, also it's fun. Like I'm having I'm enjoying my time with you guys and enjoying my time performing as well. 여러분 덕분이에요. It's all because of you guys. Skirt. 자 마지막 질문입니다. 아티스트로서 현재까지 가장 크게 이룬 성취는 yeah. 어떤 거라고 생각하세요? 그 다음 목표가 있다면 어떤 건지도 궁금합니다. All right, last question, guys. What is your biggest accomplishment in your career? And after achieving that, what do you see as your next goal? 일단 먼저 뭐예요? What about you first? 지성, you go first. 저는 솔직히 말해서 to be 이번, honest with you? 이번 투어인 것 같아요. I think it's this tour. 이번 투어를 하면서 어떻게 보면 칠드림의 첫 번째 이제 전 세계 투어인데 you know, this is the first tour that I'm on. 뭔가 우리가 그 동안 해왔던 것들 또 이제 칠드림으로서 칠드림으로서는 처음으로 이제 간데도 많고 하니까 그렇죠. 이게 저로서는 되게 지금이 가장 지금 투어가 가장 큰 성취지 않나. You know, I think it's like the it's the first time for Seven Dreams to all come together and you know actually have a tour. So it is really inspiring for us, and it's feel like it's like one of our biggest accomplishments so far.
박재성주. 네, 저는 어, 뭐 너무 너무 많죠. 너무 많은데. I have a lot. I actually have a really lot. 제일 성취했고 뿌듯했다라고 느꼈던 거는 앨범을 인정받았을 때였던 것 같아요. I think for me the biggest accomplishment for me is being able to be verified with our album. 이번 앨범 너무 좋아요. Like this album was really good. It was really good to hear. 다 노래 너무 좋고 뭐 타이틀곡도 너무 멋있어. 이런 얘기를 들을 때가 아 이게 아티스트로서 제일 성취라고 느낄 만한 순간이지 않을까 싶었어요. And I think you know as an artist, I think this is the t- these are the moments where I feel like I've really accomplished for the fact that I was able to you know be able to hear all these like you know compliments saying that this album was great and so forth. 뭔가 진짜 이 일을 하면서 제일 제일 뿌듯한 순간에서 찾는 I think that was the most biggest accom- like the most accomplishment I felt in my career. 그것도 뭐 당연히 뭐 음악 방송 상 받을 때도 너무 뿌듯하고 And obviously, you know, getting awards at like you know music shows obviously is also very rewarding. 근데 뭔가 그러니까 저는 약간 그렇게 생각해요. 성취를 하려고 일을 하는 건 아닌 것 같아요. To be honest with you, for me, I don't feel like I'm working to accomplish something normally. 그냥 하루하루 내가 이 일을 하면서 누군가가 만족하고 누군가 기분이 좋고 어떤 분들이 나를 통해서 행복하고 한게 그게 제 직업의 역할이라고 저는 생각을 하기 때문에. So for me, I feel like my career, my job is for you know to be able to make others happy, to be able to help them become happy through the things that I do. 옛날에 제가 마이클 잭슨 노래를 한참 들을 때막 슬플 때막이 노래 듣고 뭐 되게 기쁠 때이 노래 들으면서 진짜 힐링을 했던 것처럼. 누군가가 제 음악을 듣고 우리 드림 음악을 듣고 그런 기분을 느껴주실 수 때가 저는 그게 진짜 노래하는 사람으로서 제일 할수 있는 큰 일인 것 같아서 그게 제일 좋더라고. So you know when I was younger I would listen to Michael Jackson, you know when I would listen to song, specific songs that I felt like you know when I was sad or specific songs when I was really happy. And so I feel like that's something I really want to do as an artist and that's one of the biggest things that I feel like an artist can do is to help you guys feel specific emotions and really be able to bring that emotion out but at the same time make you guys happy. 아, 서 계신 분 앉아 계셔도 되는데 다리 아프실 텐데. 네. 네 오늘 저희와 함께한 로드투 데뷔 아티스트 클래스 비트박스 여러분 어땠어요? Box. 재밌었어요? Did you guys have fun with today's yeah. Roadtoo Debut Artist Class Beatbox so far? 야 저희도 사실 너무 너무 진짜 즐겁게 한것 같아요. 진짜 이런 게 처음이에요. I think it was so fun, guys. <웃음> 자 여러분들께서 연습한 <웃음> 영상은 <웃음> 여러분의 SNS 인스타나 뭐 틱톡에 Talk and um, you know and participate in the beatbox challenge. 네 해시태그는 해시태그 로드투 데뷔 해시태그 NCT 드림 언더바 비트박스 해시태그 비트박스 언더바 커버 해시태그 비트박스 언더바 마이테이크 태그와 함께 NCT 드림 아니면 킨스 언더바 바이 언더바 ED 계정을 태그해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. Right. Yes. Yeah, so for your sorry. Don't forget the hashtag when you upload, road, hashtag road to debut, hashtag NCT dream, hashtag uh, NCT dream under bar beatbox, hashtag beatbox under, underscore cover, hashtag beatbox underscore my take, and don't forget to tag NCT dream keens by ED as well. 네, 어, 네, 그 다음 로드2 데뷔 디스코드에 영상을 올려주시면 은 추첨해서 저희 사인 포스터와 여러 선물들을 드립니다. Yeah. And also don't forget that you can also go to our Road2 데뷔 Discord and upload and through our raffle you might be able to receive a sign poster and also other, other prizes. Yes, 저희가 yeah. 방금 사인하고 왔습니다. And we, re- we just literally like okay, signed it right now. 네. 저희 비트박스 챌린지와 함께 로드 투 데뷔 커뮤니티에서 K-pop Now and Future 네, 캠페인이 진행되고 있다고 합니다. With our Beatbox Challenge, our Road to Debut community has started a K-pop Now and Future campaign. 어, 네, 전 세계 K-pop 탤런트들이 춤과 노래를 연결되어 
지금의 레전드와 미래의 레전드 그리고 앞으로 레전드가 될 여러분과 함께 만들어 가는 캠페인이라고 생각합니다. So this campaign is for everyone around the world who has uh, who are K-pop talents who are who are here to con, uh, connect dance and singing together and become a legend in the future now and also a legend themselves. Yes. 네, 비트박스 챌린지 그리고 K-pop Now and Future 캠페인에 참여해서 받은 포인트로 저희 사인 포스터뿐 아니라 각종 경품과도 교환이 가능하다고 하니 많이 참여해 주세요. So through the Beatbox Challenge, also the K-pop Now and Future campaign, you guys are able to uh, receive points. So, yeah. You guys can receive our side posters, but also other prizes as well. So I hope you guys are able to participate in that. 너무 즐겁게 즐겨 주셔서 사실 오히려 저희 둘이 더 행복한 에너지 많이 받았던 것 같고 yes. 즐거운 시간 보낼 수 있었던 것 같습니다. We're really um for today's artist class, we are really grateful and happy to be able to teach you guys. I think we got a lot of energy and happiness from you guys, and it was just like all all in general, just a really great time with you guys. 여러분. 복습 잊지 마시고 저희 다음 다음에 또 만난 날 있으면 꼭또 봤으면 좋겠습니다. Don't forget guys, practice makes perfect, practice makes performance, and I hope to see you guys again in another time. 그러면 지금까지 NCT 드림의 해찬, 지성 팔기였습니다. 감사합니다 여러분. 안녕하세요. 다음에 바이바이. 또 만나요. Hope to see you guys again. Bye bye. Oh. Oh <웃음> So, tapos na ang aming workshop with Hechan and Jisung. So, ayun, ang hirap magpapansin. Kasi ang tinatawag niya yung, ano daw, yung first, sino yung hindi makagets. So, bilang natutunan ko na siya before yung choreo nun, sabi ko, okay na ako, ganyan. Sabi niya, mag -cir big circle daw if okay na. Tapos yung mga pinansin, yung mga hindi maka-keep up. <laughs> Dapat pala sinabi ko, hindi ko alam. <laughs> sabi nga na ng sister, sabi ng sister ko, dapat sinabi mo, dapat hindi ka, ano, marunong kunwari, ganyan. E paano? Ay, yung alam mo yung momentum na, yan, nakakasabay ka sa ganyan, tapos bilang okay, tapos bilang malala, dapat wala hindi okay. Tapos na ba, nung okay, tit hindi na sila sasabay, titingnan ka na lang nila, na mental block naman ako. Kasi nakatingin sila sa mga monitor. Nakalimutan ko naman yung steps. Tapos tinawag naman yung mga talagang naka, yung magaling. <laughs> so ayun, next time sasali ulit ako. Hindi ko na pag-aaralan yung ano. Char. So ayun, sobrang ah, eh, second time ko tong umattend ng dance class with K-pop artists. First, yung kay Kai, if hindi nyo pa napapanood, siguro lalagay ko sa taas. Part 1 and part 2 kasi yun. Tapos, eto, yan, si Hechan at saka si Chisang. Actually, dapat a-attend ako kay Juyon and Sangmin. <laughs> Juyon nga, Sangmin. Basta kay Juyon at Sangmin, pares pa sila nun. Basta ayun sa The Boys, ayun. Tapos umatin pa nga si Eric. Hindi ako naka-attend nun kasi parang naging unmotivated ako that time. So, ngayon, <laughs> kailangan ko na. So, dapat pala ganito kasi maaga ako nagigising. Talagang tingin ako ng tingin sa, sa phone ko kung anong oras na. Kasi on the day itself, sila magsesend ng confirmation if you're qualified to have ano, workshop with Hechan and Jay Song. 40 minutes before the class sila magsisend. So, ayun. Eh, 11 a.m. ang start sa Korea. 10 a.m. dito. So, na-receive ko na siya mga 9.20 siguro. Yung email. Ayun. So, ayun. Ngayon kasi medyo konti na lang yung tinuro. May, dati kasi yung kay Kai, tatlong oras kami sumasaya. <laughs> Oo, sobrang hirap nung kay Kai. Ang hirap nung tinuro niya yung sa, mm, ayun pa yung tinuro niya before. Pero yung umatend, hindi na ako umatend ng rover. Kasi sabi ko, kasi nga, sabi ko, Lo, baka hindi na naman makasunod. Katulad yung dati, ang dami niya tinuro nun. Tapos ito ngayon, dahil to beatbox, medyo familiar ako sa choreo nito. Medyo nakasabay naman ako. 
So, ayun. Sana next time naman ulit. Please, please. Mm. Feeling ko pag NCT 127, si Tay yung at saka si Mark. <gasps> oh my God. Pero if kahit sinong K-pop idol siguro gusto ko umaten ng dance. Ayan. So, ayun. Masaya siya. Nakaka-motivate. Kasi mayroong mga question and answer ang mga idols dun sa after class. Tapos mayroon silang mga advice. Ganyan. And sa mga nagsasabi. Then, naalala ko lang yung ano, yung sabi ko, Ala, bakit hindi matutuloy yung ano, yung concert? Diba yung concert na nga ng NCT 127 before? Parang na-adjust nang na-adjust kasi nagsasabay yung dream. Pagod ang dream. Tapos magko-concert ang 127. Si, diba si Mark and Hen Chan? Tapos, nung dumating na nga yung point na may tanong about ton, sabi ni Hen Chan, hindi naman siya daw, parang hindi naman niya na feel na overwork yun kasi Masaya siya sa ginagawa niya. Gusto niya yung ginagawa niya. Well, tao rin naman daw sila na napapagod. Pero, nag -e enjoy sila sa ginagawa nila. So, sa mga fans dyan, na nag-comment before sa akin na, tuwan-tuwa kayo na nagko-concert, pero hindi niyo alam na overwork sila and pagod sila. Masaya siya na po ang nagsabi. Masaya siya sa ginagawa niya. <laughs> Wala akong kaaway. Well, sinasabi ko lang. Well, kasi kung passionate ka talaga, kahit pagod ka, masaya ka. That's it. So, okay lang namang mag-worry as a fan. Pero, huwag naman kayo mag-away ng ibang citizens Dahil, ayun lang. Ayun lang naman. So, sa mga gusto mag-join, ayun, mag-join kayo. Kailangan, mag-a-announce lang naman sila sa Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Ay, about doon sa class. Tapos, parang need nyo lang mag-upload ng dance cover or dance choreo nyo on your own dun sa song. Ganon yung ginagawa ngayon ng Keens. Before kasi nagbayad ako, nagbabayad kami sa class ni Kai before. Parang 1,000 pesos lang for 3 hours. Sulit diba? Tapos si Kai. <laughs> si Kai na to. Pero ayun, I'm super happy. Parang Parang naging kompleto yung tulog ko kahit hindi. So, as I was recording kanina, hindi pala siya naka-on yung mic. So, walang boses po. Walang boses yung iba, pero na-on na ko lang yung mic. Oh, siguro, nasa question and answer na. Hoping for more K-pop artists na magtuturo ng dance. Kasi nakaka-motivate. <laughs> Well, nakaka-motivate din naman ang ating mga choreographer na yung mga teachers talaga. Pero, syempre ba yung pag-idol mo yung nagtuturo? Ganyan. Jisong, eh, Chan. Char. Wala pong voice lesson dyan. With Jayon. So, ayun lang for my vlog. Thank you for watching ang aking journey. Journey. Mm, a day. A day with Hachan and Jisong. <laughs> Hindi! Workshop at ah, in lang ako ah, dance workshop with Hachan and Jisung. So in lang, bye.